point we were making such a such a coincidence that you brought it up because that's exactly what we said that first you have to heal yourself have the energy yourself before you give it to others and take it you know it's right. very nice and magnanimous when we want to give others but we have to have it also true very it's a great true. topic very true and this I'm is going to be, be a... sorry sorry bolli 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 my internet is a little iffy so i'm going to be off screen right cool hai you were saying something yeah must have been i'm always saying something <laughs> 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 yeah very talkative uh pata nahi ha but uh, to this time again we're going to be doing uh, doing uh, um, a meditation at the end and uh, i think uh, and i think this induction might actually work with you as well Meet. so let's see how that works inshallah out. yes right we have a lot of other things to try so i have to try some stuff with you you have to try some stuff so one of these Haan, days bro, when we are that posture thing might be good for me also by the way that posture thing i know thing that's why i'm saying and i just cleared that thank you that day when i so, sent you the message so yeah ji so acha by the way we are we are uh, we are doing uh, indu and i are are uh, are uh, very excited about a daily by foot sort of thing that we 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 started on so uh, so delhi by foot is basically first of all we first of we want to explore connaught place and all the little by lanes and the gullies and this and that you know go through that so if anyone's interested in joining you come It'll what days fun. saturday sunday <laughs> how kind and how considerate thank you ab main kya karu Your weekend is Saturday, Sunday. Your weekend is your work time. What do I do? And the rest of the week is the same. So, every day I can do it. I get it. I get it. Service providers always do this. 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 Service providers No, I organize it. I'm teaching the psychic self-defense class. That's the next one. So I'm teaching a total of five. So Archana ka, Archana ka, yeah, which is kisne ke? Who who took it? Ah, uh, Raja and Neha. Acha acha. I still have to get a feedback from her. I never got a got a chance to get a feedback from her. Mm-hmm. So good, you reminded me. I shall do that now. Oh, she always says nice things. I know she's very sweet, <laughs> but still, it it'll be good to get a feedback. Cool. What is the? Yeah, problem is stuck between multiple devices. Now, sometimes when I touch my laptop, it doesn't work. Sometimes when I touch the keyboard, it doesn't work. Sometimes when I touch the mobile, it doesn't work. So, <laughs> so each one of us has own keyboard. Yeah. What's the time? It's four o four. Should we start or should we wait for a couple of minutes? So, how about how about we how about we just start with uh, with your uh, with 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 sharing a uh, sharing a uh, perspective on caregivers. Just talk about what your experience has been in the context of caregiving. I know Renu does it. I know Archana does it. Uh, no, not Archana. Sorry, I know Jayanti does it. Uh, Archana, I don't know. I'm sure she's done it sometime. So. Um, Shilpa, you want to pipe up and tell us your perspective. Shilpa, Jaya, why are you here? What, what, what interested you about the subject? Uh, good evening, everybody. Hi, Shilpa. Yeah, hi. Uh, the main reason which I joined was that uh, because the topic which is being discussed, uh, sometimes somewhere it resonated, you know. Mm-hmm. Though I'm a very traditional setup, taking care of the elders in the family, and uh, going to various uh, mental, emotional upheavals all along, so I just thought that maybe let me just uh, see how is it with others. So that is what got me here. I understand. Thank you for sharing that. Would you like to share some more of the mental upheavals and all of the emotional upheavals you were speaking about? Uh, and did you experience that in the in the in the context of being a caregiver, or did you observe it in somebody else, or how did how did that go? Uh, no, as a caregiver myself, uh, yeah. 
uh, somewhere. It gets it gets very exhausting at times, mm-hmm. and sometimes you're not able to handle the situation very well because you are not able to cope up, or or you know you don't have the answers, or you don't know how to manage at times, uh, whom you are caring about, and or where I felt the need was like uh, to bring in positivity in their outlook you know to transfer from yourself to the other person so that is where I felt that you know I I guess I need to work more upon you know that's what I felt mm-hmm. I understand that thank you for sharing that yeah. Jaya something to share ma'am hello Hi, good Jaya. evening am I Hi. audible now yeah absolutely yeah, the interest in this topic was that uh, I myself, uh, my mother-in-law is paralyzed for the last 15 years mm-hmm. and uh, she is completely bedridden now for last uh, three, uh, now three years and on food pipe for last six months. Mm. So it has been a long journey. I'm individually like uh, <laughs> I'm staying at home. My husband is doing his professional uh, work. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. so I, co- I thought, let me listen to this aspect. <laughs> But because I I suffered, uh, it's now I am able to cope with it. But uh, last uh, over a period of time, I myself suffered from anxiety bouts. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know how it happened, but over a period of uh, time, I developed some symptoms. Mm-hmm. Thanks for sharing that, Jayanti. You want to share your experience, perspectives as a caregiver? Yeah. <laughs> Thank I you. know your mom-in-law uh, is around. And... Yeah, mommy is not well. She is having a kind of a cancer, which is, uh-huh. you know, um, last few reports were pretty uh, serious, but this week it has been okay. She's slightly improving. But what uh-huh. basically I find more uh, is that we sometimes feel helpless. Like, you know, there is nothing that you can do to improve their health. Uh, only see them suffering, you know. That actually makes uh, me really feel sad sometimes. Um, but otherwise, she's a pretty strong uh, person. Um, quite healthy and, you know, doing all, uh, whatever, you know, work she uh, loves to do, she used to do. But for a person like her, having a problem like this has really, you know, put all of us in a kind of a, you know, it's hard like, to see her like that. So I just pray that, you know, she improves her health and, you know. Now, what I say is mommy has lost her enthusiasm to do anything. Like, you know, earlier she used to love going out. Nowadays, we don't see she becomes very tired pretty fast. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's painful to see her like that. Got it. But we we have to go through that. No, there is no other go. True. And how are you? How do you? How do you address uh, these when 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 your your low periods? How do you address that? Mm, actually, I talk with my husband, and we try to you know see how best we can deal with the situation. We talk to the doctor. We talk to, you know, we take second opinion sometimes. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's not easy. I hear you. And, and another thing we find is that we can't leave mommy alone in the house. So one of us have to be with her, either me or my husband. So we just divide the task among each other so that, you know, um, she feels safe. Uh, mm-hmm. Like any emergencies arise, at least one of us are there to take care of her. So, okay. <laughs> it's hard. It's not easy at all. Fair enough. So let's just begin the session on that note. On that, 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 that note being it's hard and not easy at all. No, it's not. Uh, it's not easy at all being a caregiver. Yeah. So this session is on uh, is on caring for. Uh, on Kerry, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So this session is on caring for caregivers and uh, 
and uh, we are uh, we are uh, we are rough now that but we're trying to have a model we have, we have a lot of basic practices and uh, and we have a lot of modern research and RAS is an attempt to, to to connect modern research with traditional practices because a lot of our traditional practices have uh, state your voice is dipping yeah it's very low can't hear you uh voice is not clear any better yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, so RAS is an attempt to to match our, our ancient scientific practices with modern ancient with modern scientific evidence. So that's what we that's what RAS is trying to do. And I am Sid, and I work with uh, with with a bunch of things, both of the body and of the mind. And um, over to Renu. All right. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I am Renu, as you know. I'm a transformational psychologist and I have an educational background in psychology, management and social work. I have over 25 years of experience and I have worked with corporates, educational institutes and individuals and also a large part with children for different issues. I specialize in change management for individuals and corporates and I work on capacity building through counseling and training. And my expert areas are relationships, behavioral issues, professional and personal competencies, and also stress. And I can be approached through community healers for any of these areas. So that's about Thanks. me. Thanks. Thanks, Reno. There's your first one. Yeah. All right. Okay. So um, why I am talking about this is uh, a little background. Uh, both my parents-in-law uh, were bedridden. My mother-in-law is no more. She succumbed after seven years of uh, being on the bed. And my father-in-law is a little mobile, but still on the bed. And in between, my son underwent a spine surgery. So he had to go through therapy and everything for six months. So for me, it has been a long period of about nine years where I have been... Uh, Although I do have professional help, but uh, I had been the main person who was around for all three of them, giving different, you know, kind of help and assistance as I could. So talking about who is caregiver, as the Mayo Clinic, a caregiver is anyone who provides help to another person in need, such as an ill spouse or partner, a disabled child, or an aging relative. But a caregiver basically is a human service provider who gives assistance if it is not vocation uh, into different things. It could be physical, emotional, psychological health. It could be nursing aid. It could be different types of therapies. And what I say mainly is attention, uh, giving attention to people as it is required and also giving uh, being giving company, being an escort and a and a partner in different you know activities. Next one, please. Types of caregivers, of course, we have professionals, we have volunteers, we have formal, informal, and the formal ones. But I say the most common type of caregiver is a family member. And now uh, how a family member becomes a caregiver, it is either a lack of another alternative or the financial implication. It could also be because you, you want to be seen as someone who's taken the responsibility of a family member, whether you willingly or forcefully take the task or there is no other alternative available. It, it could be anything. And especially in last three years, especially after Corona, the number of caregivers in the form of family members have increased massively. And these basically family members, the people who take care of their family members are the one who actually suffer the most or have to undergo a lot of stress and a lot of effort. And they are not... Uh, adequately, you know, appreciated and compensated for it. Over to you, Seth. 
Thanks. So, uh, caregivers also uh, caregivers also experience stress. Also, and uh, also also the care, but actually they're probably at the at the, at the top of the of the stress uh, experience because they because they have uh, they have a they they're, they're constantly being looked at. Uh, they are constantly being ignored. They are they they constantly ha they have a constant responsibility, and so on. So when when you look at the caregiver stress experience, you find that we that, that there's a constant feeling of being overwhelmed, or you might be worried because you might have you know stepped out for a moment and you don't know ki jo ghar pe hai, wo hai, hai. Mm -hmm. Because of the constant stress, you're feeling uh, you're feeling irritated or angry. You get you're, you're irritated. You, you get uh, irritable quite a bit. Then uh, then then uh, and and there are the other points on the screen as you can see. A lot of these things, uh, all, all these things, are part of the caregiver stress experience. But one of the biggest things, in my opinion, that contributes to caregiver, uh, let's say, uh, stress uh, stress is is on the one hand, I'm a human being with my own priorities and my own uh, and my own life and the, my own things which I want. And on the other hand, I have I have uh, dedicated or I have uh, committed to to taking care of somebody else who have their own priorities. And who we have placed at a slightly higher priority than us. So then you're going through this constant dissonance in our own heads between what do I want and what do they want? What should I do? What, what do I want to do? What do I need to do? So there's a constant you know, balancing thing going on in the head, which leads to a fair amount of, again, the same irritability and the same kind of you know, general feeling of unrest, which happens quite a bit of the time. So all of these are part of the caregiver stress experience. Now, apart from that, uh, stress uh, caregivers also have certain risk factors. When I say risk factors, I'm talking about um, what are the risk factors for caregivers to experience stress? And interestingly, can you name the number one risk factor? Come on. What is the number one risk factor of, uh, of uh, being a caregiver, uh, of uh, experiencing caregiver stress? Come on, you can try this. Hi, BP. Okay, uh, but up, up stress, uh, up stress. Ke outcome ki baat kare. Main keh raho, okay. Risk factor kya? I mean, for example, um, one risk factor for having a road accident is being on the road. You know, for example. So if you're on the road, chances are you, you know, the chances of having a road accident increase. So similarly, what are the risk factors for experiencing caregiver stress? And the number one risk factor is being female. <laughs> you can laugh it or you can cry whatever you <laughs> but fact of the matter right now is that automatically we look to the woman, we look to the female, we look to somebody like that around the house too, uh, as, as as in the caregiver role. Because somehow, maybe, you know, we have that whole uh, woman, women are supposed to be nurturing. What, what is it? I don't know. But this is definitely one uh, one thing that that um, which we do. And then, uh, so you have the all the, uh, these are entire the risk of, list, uh, the, the risk, uh, the list of uh, risk factors for experiencing caregiver stress. And um, since caregivers do experience stress, I would say these are actually the risk factors for being considered as a caregiver itself to begin with. And one of the biggest things over here is the lack of choice in being a caregiver. Because a lot of people, there, there is, there's this whole uh, toxic positivity thing also that's happening these days. No? Uh, not these days for a while. Uh, in fact, these days has come to the forefront. But women have been experiencing this sort of toxic positivity for quite a while, where, where women must be the, the, the very best in, in terms of being a mother, being a wife, being a daughter, all of those things, lots of it. And of course, if there is a, if there's a nurturing role involved, automatically you have to do it, which is just not fair. So there's the very little mm -hmm. choice involved, which once again contributes to that whole cognitive dissonance thing that I was talking about, which has this thing in my head that why am I doing this? You know, you just ask yourself, why am I the only one doing this? <laughs> okay, over to you. Okay. Uh, as Jayanti was also saying, you know, a lot of time you actually have to tur take turns in taking care of the patient at home. So managing time is one of the biggest, you know, constraint and the challenge because you realize there is absolutely no time left to do your own thing, do your own thing personally, professionally. There is absolutely no me time. And uh, apart from that, also managing time, like, you know, falling in timetable with the patient as the patient requires that also becomes 
one of very big challenges. Then balancing caregiving and their personal life desires. There is no time for act. Yes, Sid. Sorry, uh, just one question for everyone to think about while you're talking. Can you think of uh, how many instances or how common or how frequent uh, do, you, do you think it is that when the family is going out, that somebody offers to stay and allow the caregiver to go out and have fun themselves? I want you to think about how often, how prevalent, how many times you've seen something like that happen. Please go on, Rina. Sorry for the interruption. Yeah. For me, I mean, in, uh, you know, uh, going with the second point also, and what you just said, most of the time when the family was going out, even if somebody would offer that, like, you know, let Reno go, it would so happen, nobody else can handle the patient. Agar kuch crisis ho gaya to kya hoga? You know, if if some the need comes, you are not around. If if they become cranky or if they are not, you know, if somebody else is not able to handle them, so you know, those times you feel like you know my competence is working against me. Yeah, and you would you would want to be a lousy person. Not not always, but sometimes you would feel that thing. Why why me? As you said, because. Yeah. Everybody else goes out, have fun. You have no time for your activities. You have no time for your entertainment. And you can't even be a part of the functions or the gatherings where everybody else is. And at the same time, you also have to keep consoling the patient also because he or she is also not able to take part in the activity that is happening outside their room. And it is a lot of stress. Stress of emotional stress, yes, mental stress, yes, and also physical because so many times you have to be sitting in one position on one chair in that one specific room. You can't stretch your legs. You 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 know you can't even cough loudly if you have to. It 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 is it can be really really restrictive. Then of yeah. course because it is day in and day out the same activity, there is a lot of monotony that sets in, and. You know, for me, it was so that so many times I could not even put the earplugs on and listen to music because that would rattle my mother-in-law. She would say, if I will call out to you, you would not be yeah. able to hear. So you take yeah. your earplugs out. So, you know, and not blaming her, but they become so dependent on their caretaker. No, nobody else gives them that kind of a confidence. So more than more than the requirement it becomes offering comfort and offering security you know to that person then there is lack of privacy you don't you don't get your own space you have to be sitting in that place in that room you can't be doing your own thing and everybody who's visiting the patients you have to entertain them also whether or not you want to so your yeah. personal preferences go for a toss Sleep deprivation, I don't really have to say anything about it, I guess. I already had a problem with insomnia. And uh, these last nine years, it my sleep patterns really went out of the window. So even if I would get the time to sleep on time, I would just not be able to do that. So that also is another challenge. Then I think pressure of putting up a brave front, A, in front of the patient, no matter what the physical and the medical condition is, you have to speak positively in front of that person. Not just that, you also have to relay the message to the other people who come, who inquire and who are, uh, you know, visiting, know that everything is all right. Whereas, you know, you were the one who's noticing every sinking, every dip in the situation or anything that is like, you know, looking positive also. But you have to like, you know, regulate it and, and, you know, form it in such a manner that you don't sound depressed in front of uh, the others. And it kind of a become even bigger challenge because what you are personally thinking, you cannot voice that. You always have to sound, you know, optimist and positive. Otherwise, I also felt it makes me look like a lesser person if I'm speaking anything negative. So more often than not, the people who are taking care would be saying good things only, even if they know the situation is not looking that sunny. Then isolation. 
आप कहीं जा नहीं सकते आप किसी से बात नहीं कर सकते आप आपको वहीं उसी कन्फाइंड स्टेट में होना होता है सो दैट बिकम्स अ इशू लैक ऑफ अप्रिशिएशन एंड यू नो एवरीबडी एवरीबडी हु इज नॉट पर्सनली टेकिंग केयर विल बिकम रायचंद they all will have opinions they all will have things to tell you they all will have something better yes sir raichand ka kya context hai rai dete rehte hai na oh okay sorry <laughs> seriously i didn't know that <laughs> that is a term i use because day in day out koi aur baitha hua hai सिचुएशन को संभालने के लिए लाइक समबडी एल्स हु डजेंट इवन नो व्हाट द एग्जैक्ट प्रॉब्लम इज और द एग्जैक्ट सिचुएशन इज और इवन फॉर दैट मैटर मेडिसिन क्या देते हैं कितने टाइम देते हैं दे ऑल विल कम अप विद डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ अल्टरनेटिव थेरीज सजेशंस मालिश करा लो धूप जला लो अगरबत्ती जला दो ये फोटो लगा दो ये बाबा जी का फोटो लगा दो और यू नो इस टाइम पे सुला दो इस टाइम पे उठा दो ये नहीं खिलाओ वो मत खिलाओ या ये खिलाओ आई मीन मोर 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 देन द पेशेंट द पीपल हु प्रिटेंड और एक्चुअली केयर फॉर द पेशेंट बिकम अस यू नो दे वुड एक्चुअली पेस्टर एंड बॉदर यू सो मच एंड यू वुड वॉन्ट टू लाइक यू नो थ्रो दी टाल इन की अब बस बहुत हो गया डीलिंग डीलिंग विथ with the third party input gets a little too much i think that is one of the biggest caveats of being a caretaker then depression depressive system bad digestive system also becomes this because woh same grim situation woh same grim environment and actually play havoc with your mental positivity and then then you gradually if it happens for a longer period you start feeling that you have become a victim yes have you found uh, or uh, any greater incidence of ibs in in caregivers not that i know of okay i'll look into it thanks anger i mean you become the victim uh, you actually fall for that victim mentality and then you feel anger because you are not doing things that you want to you are not being with people you want to you are not able to give as much time to the things and people you want to and the activities you become irritable because boredom monotony actually makes you irritable then also there is embarrassment because sometimes people judge you thinking this that we either cannot afford a professional help and even if it is it is a choice somehow the reactions from other people make you look as if you made a mistake by choosing to take care of the family member yourself so you know it kinds of becomes uh, difficult to handle and difficult to react to then there is obviously a lot of frustration grief and guilt because the moment the patient starts to dip or there is something uh, you know they start going low or they are going through the rough periods you kind of attach it to your personal performance you know mere hote hue kaise ho gaya even though you are not a doctor or even though you there are things that you cannot be doing anything about still because you are in that environment and you are so closely related and being with that person it kind kinds of makes you feel like a personal failure ki they are not improving and god forbid if something fatal happens then it it can really pull you down the dumps then yes jealousy of the other people who really don't have to do it because you're constantly left out then loneliness and tiredness and feeling sad all of it sets in so i think these all are at least these 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 are the ones that i personally felt myself also thanks reena so we have uh, we have a, a fairly simple way of going ahead and dealing with uh, ways of dealing with caregiver stress and and, and number one is uh, okay this i thought if i would edit this in the background it would change but it hasn't so the first one is actually create a backup and welcome assistance so when i say create a backup what i'm saying is that uh, that we na ki ki wo handle kar payenge nahi kar payenge 
uh, and, and all those things. So it's good to have a backup and we can actually have a schedule that this is this is your job, this is my job, this is when I will go, this is when you will go and so on and so forth. Here you know. Here, I would say this, that so many times, even if people offer help to become the backup, sometimes because of your ego and because of your being fearful of the other person not helping, not be able to handle the situation, you reject the idea. So anybody who's here, who is in the situation where the welcome, the assistance is offered, please let your ego and other sensibilities aside and accept that. It it There's... is it is something that sorry. Karan Karina. Ha, so it, it is it is something which is going to help you in a long, long way. Because jaha aap mana karne lagte na, aap ko aur frustration pile up hone lagta hai, and then you start questioning your own decisions. Which is where we talk about welcoming assistance, one. And um and 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 the other thing is that uh, that uh, we might also find Renu instances of codependency in a caretaker uh, in in a caregiver patient relationship. Nee? because at yes. some point in time also it becomes part of my uh, sense of self or part of my thing to to look after a person and therefore I might actually refuse offers of assistance because this is my thing. You know, maybe it becomes my turf and all of those things. I'm happy with all the stress as long as I can do it. <laughs> and then there are there are cases like that. No, also. I. Uh, true and you know sometimes I mean uh, I feel like a bad person saying it agar us samay pe koi kuch bolta tha na about mummy uh, like you know improving because of the collective efforts <laughs> I used to get so agitated <laughs> I, I would hate that thing because I knew it we really <laughs> we what did you do <laughs> I know <laughs> I get it. So many times I would so want to throw something at that person. I get it. Then, so next is be happy with doing your best. A lot of the time we tend to, to tend to ascribe or you know, put superhuman goals on us. Uh, uh, so, sorry, superhuman expectations that I can do this also and that also. But we are already doing our best and, and doing beyond your best is possible every once in a while. But doing it all the time, or at least trying to aim for it all the time, can be utterly and completely physically and mentally exhausting. So just so just be happy with your best. We can't really go beyond that for 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 much too long because that's again that's another form of stress. Then, actually, then the goals we set are sometimes not doable, maybe because of our sentiments, because of what we want to prove to ourselves, prove to others, uh, or or maybe our feelings for the person we're looking after. But we tend to set goals that might not be that might be very ideal. Might even be optimal, but might not be doable. So we might want to, you know, adjust our goals over time. That ye mere char goal the. Pichle hafte uh, and let let let's take a month's data, and then after a month we can see that this goal was met x number of times. This goal was met x number of times. Let me tone down this one slightly because after all, my well-being and wellness is the subject matter of planning, and I need to plan it and take care of it. Achha, then participate in support groups. That's another thing we don't seem to be doing. Like Renu was saying that I feel like a bad person saying this. You are doing your best as a caretaker, as a caregiver. You cannot be a bad person. And if you do have something to vent and because you're a human being, you will have things in your head which you will want to yell and scream about. That's absolutely all right. And in fact, on this note, uh, we have a little group, another group on WhatsApp called The Whistle. And The Whistle is actually referring to the Kukar Ka City. Uh, so if you need to vent, if you need to yell and scream or whatever, just come over to that group and that group is a venting place. We plan to meet once a week or, uh, if, if possible on, on Zoom where you can keep your camera cameras off and I want to be bugging you to you know, put them on and you can change your name and whatever and you just come and yell your head off. Just share whatever you want. Sometimes you need to share. So anyway, so participate in social groups. And, and uh, apart from participating in support groups, we also need, uh, while support groups do have an element of society or, so, or, or social over there, we also need to participate in, in, in known social, for example, go out with a walk with a friend or, or, or spend time on the phone for, for, for a chat. And uh, and it's all right if someone says, you know, if, if, if someone always notices you while you're on the phone, because you know that you're taking care, you know the kind of comments that are going to follow. <laughs> That's okay. 
but just take out the time for social interaction talk to people look at their faces meet people walk with them rub shoulders physical contact is also important we need to do all of that and since your personal health is the subject matter of of planning we need to monitor our personal health mera bp kya tha abhi kya hai now for example one thing which we need which we tend to ignore when we are monitoring our personal parameters is the concept of trends For example, if my BP is here right now, ये शायद सही जगह है या गलत जगह है. But I don't know कि ऊपर से नीचे है या नीचे से ऊपर गया है. Correct? Because this is just a point in time. So what I also need to do is track my health, track what's happening, give myself enough priority ताकि I can actually track that what's my blood sugar up to. For example, sleep deprivation is the fastest way towards insulin resistance. So if I've been sleep deprived over the last few, let's say, weeks or 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 this thing, it is possible that my sugar levels might be higher than usual, and that has other implications as well. So maybe I want to take a look at that. But if I just check my sugar, and if it is okay, I don't know it is okay from bad or okay from good. You know, so. you want to track all of that and finally be assertive and clear about your priorities if you want to go somewhere make it happen you want to do something be clear about it we don't have to put my head down and oh headmaster wala look at my shoes or you know what i wanted to go to a movie today. <laughs> come on <laughs> we are all adults and we we have our own life we have our own priorities and if we need to go some place we need to go some place and so we need to communicate our priorities we need to be very clear about them aur wo sharafat mein nahi mara jana hai we have to, we are doing a job we are doing a we playing a role um and caregiving is not just uh, uh, let's say the woman's role or just the mother's role or you know just like that there are many people who could do it what you're doing is an optional thing you're dedicating yourself to it so you have to be clear and communicative about the things that matter to you the most now at this point i'm going to ask uh, if you have any questions and also to invite renu and anybody else who got anything else to say on the subject and after this we're going to do a short uh, guided session a guided hypnotherapy guided meditation on self love any questions guys any questions any any anything else you'd want to share uh, renu archana aapne kuch bola nahi abhi tak any other experiences you want to share uh, yes sir once uh, my husband's younger sister was a kidney patient and she was on bed for 5 years and she was very close to me and i was the only one looking after her mm-hmm. or um, she was in delhi staying with her in-laws par unke ghar mein koi bahut zyada care karne wala tha nahi she was in the joint family but unki duty itni thi ki morning breakfast de do lunch mm-hmm. de do husband was busy in the business ya itna uh, business loss ho raha tha to wo apna focus thoda wahan karna chahte the and mm-hmm. she was like ki jis din mera dialysis hoga achna us din aap aa jana ek uh, moral support rehta tha unko ki when achna is around to sab kuch theek ho jayega so i used to go to delhi by the night bus as i was working that time mera saturday sunday off hota tha to hum unka dialysis saturday plan karte the एंड फ्राइडे नाइट बस से मैं डेली जाती थी सैटरडे डायलिसिस होके संडे उनको वापस घर शिफ्ट करके नाइट बस से वापस आती थी एंड मंडे मॉर्निंग मेरा स्कूल होता था फिर आफ्टर दैट वी शिफ्टेड हर टू आर प्लेस इन शिमला शी स्टेड विद अस फॉर टू इयर्स ऑन एंड ऑफ बीच में डेली जाती थी हर डॉटर वो स्टडिंग हेयर ओनली क्योंकि वहाँ पे कोई वो यंग गर्ल ना एट्थ नाइन्थ में थी उस समय घर पे कोई भी बहुत अच्छे से उसकी केयर नहीं कर रहा था तो बच्चे की फ्रस्ट्रेशन भी बहुत ज्यादा थी तो mm-hmm. उसको हमने शिमला में एडमिशन दिलवा दिया शी वाज स्टेइंग विद मी एंड स्टडिंग हियर सो दो फाइव इयर्स वर वेरी टफ क्योंकि आप देखते हो कोई बहुत ज्यादा वेलकम करता नहीं है इस बात को कि आप उनके इन लॉज से उनको लेकर अपने पास आगे हो हमारे इंडियन सेटअप में ये भी एक बहुत बड़ी चीज थी कि क्यों लेके जा रहे हो यहीं रहने दो बट नो बडी वॉज टेकिंग गुड केयर ऑफ हर देयर सो शी वॉज विद डिफिकल्ट जो लुक आफ्टर करता है उस पर बहुत प्रेशर रहता है एंड शी वॉन्टेड टू लिव एट द सेम टाइम मुझे पता था कि ये बहुत ज्यादा दिन तक रहेंगी नहीं नहीं सर्वाइव mm-hmm. करेंगी क्योंकि सिचुएशन वॉज बैड एंड शी वॉज जस्ट अबाउट थर्टी नाइन वेन शी पास प्रेशर 
सोसाइटी का प्रेशर फैमिली का प्रेशर एंड अपना कोई भी रूटीन नहीं रह जाता ना वॉक ना फूड ना आपके कुछ भी रिक्रिएशन ना थिंग so it's there thank you for sharing that that was that was very interesting to hear shilpa jay swati would you like to share anything any experiences any any anything any feedback on how relevant the contents of uh, what we shared today was uh, and if something could happen more helpful would love to hear that as well yeah i would hello? just like to say that uh, hello i could i could completely you know uh, understand i mean of course understand and uh, went through a lot of similar things uh, have, mm -hmm. i'm still going through not on a very mm -hmm. regular basis uh, fortunately what can i say you know about that but then yes there are a lot of uh, points which one can relate to because i guess these are the common grounds which one goes through mm -hmm. as a caregiver so cool. it was yeah it was it's like of course you got that community feeling yes you know there are other people going to the same staying mm -hmm. to the same ship so that's what i can say got thanks any, sharing anything you. shilpa uh, shilpa that you feel yeah. could could have been um, done differently or you know any any suggestion you would want to give to the others uh no i agree i mean uh, i could uh, felt a much better i i felt much better listening to all of this and in fact uh, the points which you mentioned about taking care of yourself as well it uh, certainly brought about you know a uh, gave that spotlight that uh, don't forget yourself uh, while doing everything else so uh, i guess i mean it it was good enough It, it it that itself brings about so much of mental relief, frankly. Cool. Thank you for sharing that. Hey, Swati, go for it. Yeah, Arjuna ji, hello. I just want to ask you: Does it feel nice now, like you were there for your sister-in-law? You did everything. You spent some nice time together. Even if yeah, it was yeah. never some then, एक खुशी तो होती होगी कि yes, I have done my part, more than my yeah. part. या बहुत ज्यादा खुशी होती है एंड आई क्रिएटेड दैट स्ट्रॉन्ग बॉन्ड विथ हर किड्स क्योंकि उनको पता है कि व्हेन दे वर इन ट्रबल ओनली आई वाज देयर दे आर विद मी एट एनी टाइम या बिकॉज़ ओके गाइस लेट्स 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 डू 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 द द अ क्विक सेशन ऑन ऑन सेल्फ केयर so we're going to do um, so i'm going to need you to please be in a chair sit back relax and if possible switch on your cameras so i can see you and if, if there is a situation i need to address such as for example your you know your personal level of relaxation or how you doing that help with that so cameras on is always a nice thing uh, jayanti we doing yoga or something what are you doing <laughs> it'd be interesting you know if 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 somebody decides to do a handstand and say okay fine start i'm relaxed now <laughs> that would be interesting and they might be relaxed you never know what i certainly won't be <laughs> hey jay good to see you okay so i'd like you to uh, I'd like you to please sit down uh, sit down relax um Nina you do whatever you like <laughs> and uh, so let's start please all right let's begin please close your eyes take a few deep breaths or two you can expand your stomach all the way out when you're taking that deep breath and relax feel your back sinking back into the back of the chair Feel your arms resting comfortably on the armrests or wherever you put them. Shift your consciousness to your arms and feel them resting where they are. And go ahead and pay attention to your breath without actually doing the breathing, because you can rest assured that your body knows how to do that for you, and will continue to do so now as you listen to the sound of my voice. 
Feel yourself breathing in and breathing out. Notice the temperature of the air in your room. And at this point, it's nice to begin to appreciate that you have a conscious mind and an unconscious mind. And you can be aware of the feeling of that hand or that foot or the sound of my words. Your unconscious mind is aware of far more. Your unconscious mind is, is aware of everything happening here and now. And everything that's ever happened to you, and it's nice to know that your unconscious mind is very smart. And your unconscious mind also learns in a variety of ways. So you really can let it do the work for you for a while while you just let go. That's right. Let go. Nothing is important right now except that feeling, except enjoying that feeling of trance, that feeling that's flowing throughout your body and wondering if that hand is, or the other is becoming heavier than the first, or which leg is sinking more deeply into the cushion or the floor, and your attention can meld. And you find yourself attending less to the sounds of my words and, and more to the space in between my sentences. It's just like focusing on the spaces of light in between the branches of tree instead of the tree itself looking at the shape of the space between the branches or like diving into a pool of crystal clear water in between the sides of the pool you float in the space in between easily and effortlessly floating letting your unconscious soak in every positive suggestion thought or idea that I offer you while you drift, just drift more and more comfortably into trance. In the process of living our lives as all kinds of experiences along the way, some days are some of us. You'll find I'm going to speak a little faster now because there are messages I'd like your subconscious mind to hear. And you'll also find that your conscious mind might find it a little fast when I show you your subconscious mind can hear and process all of it. It's much faster than you imagine, much more powerful than you can imagine. So you know at times we meet our goals and sometimes we don't. There are periods of abundance and there are periods without as much as we would like. All of this adds up to a normal life where the most important role as caregivers is ours, as responsible providers and and part of a functional family, we place ourselves as barriers between life and our families, acting as their protectors. Over time, while our families prosper and thrive and grow, we tend to ignore our own needs, causing our mind, bodies, and spirits to function at a lower level of effectiveness than before because we truly care for our family and our friends. And sincerely wish to continue delivering on our responsibilities, we must take care of our needs. Our needs include those of our physical bodies, of our minds, and of our spirits, including our energy bodies. Self-care is less about indulging ourselves and is more about maintaining our ways of being so we can function at full strength as long as required. This way we can be there at our most effective when our families need us. We have to find ways during our daily routines when we can spend just a few moments entirely on ourselves. Some of us might feel guilty when spending time on ourselves, which isn't right because acts of self-love and self-care allow us to be at our best for our families when they need us. So I want you to feel an immensely strong feeling of pride during acts of self-love, or if you have done it in the past, and self-care because you're ensuring your family is always secure, protected, and safe. And now that we have understood the need for self-love and self-care, we must ensure now that we express that love for ourselves as often as we regularly can. Spend a few moments now, or later, perhaps in the moments before falling asleep, to plan how you plan to demonstrate to yourself how much you love and care for yourself. 
spend a few minutes on scheduling a few acts of self-love and self-care, which could be as small as having a warm beverage all by yourself, for yourself. It could be about selecting and buying a new book and setting aside time each day to read and enjoy it. Or one could aim at comfort and buy in different clothes or a new chair or new glasses or a new pad and pens for doodling or spend an hour or more sleeping each day or sleep longer during the weekends or anything else that's needed to make your day a little more comfortable. By the removal of a slight bit of discomfort, which not only enhances your day, but also lets you know that you care. These acts of self-care that you will do your best to include in your daily routine are also about your feelings. Such as expressing yourself, sharing how you feel, protesting when you feel like, giving an opinion whenever you wish. And ultimately, keeping your mind in a peaceful place of calm and comfort. Because you've said whatever you've needed to and because you've done whatever you needed to and are therefore in a balanced and ready state for all future work, be it business or personal. And while you're spending time and caring for yourself and showing to yourself that you care for yourself, be open to having fun too. Explore new activities, try new foods, visit new places, make new friends, meet new people, see new movies, listen to new music. Open yourself to new experiences and watch yourself grow and become a far better person than ever before. Having found that self-love and self-care are acquired elements of our personal well-being and quite useful to our families too, and also helps towards increasing work productivity, you might find it is a good idea to go ahead with demonstrating to yourself the extent of your self-love and self-care. At this point, making a personal note and a personal goal to always take care of your physical, emotional, and mental needs by any means necessary because by caring for yourself, you're telling your family how important they are. By loving yourself, you're demonstrating how important your work is because both work and family immensely benefit from your enhanced health and wellness and sustained happiness. So go ahead and feel your heart fill with happiness and hope. That's right. That as we proceed forward, we will keep growing in our happiness and well-being. And this bright thought might just cause you to smile, a big happy smile. And while you're smiling a bright, happy smile, keep in mind that learning how to let go is also an act of self-care that will keep your mind light and your relationships strong. And as your heart fills with happiness and hope, feel that wonderful feeling expand beyond your heart to fill your entire body. You might find the feeling you're feeling is a bright and cheerful one because we've just brought hope into a future that's so much brighter than ever before. And that feeling, that bright and cheerful feeling, also has a soothing soft color that's coming from your heart. And filling your entire body, healing everywhere it goes, healing everything it touches, every organ it finds. Making your body and mind feel light and happy, calm and comfortable, secure and safe, confident and hopeful, and more such feelings. And these feelings will stay with you even after the session has been completed. And now that we're ready to express our love and care for ourselves, it is time to return to our conscious minds so we can put into practice whatever we decided to do during this session. So as before, we'll return why the three steps we took while entering this session, this time counting backwards from three to one. And when we reach one, you can open your eyes whenever you feel like it. Three, everything you've learned, everything you've decided, everything you've given yourself permission for will shortly become reality because you will make it happen. Two, as we return, we'll ensure that all acts of self-love and care are expressed without delay for the benefit of ourselves, our families, and our work. And one, whenever you wish, whenever you feel like. You can open your eyes and return to your reality. Helpful, happy, hopeful, and confident.
Hey, ever smiling, Dr. Swati. Not bad. She actually sat in the position for all throughout. Oh, Jay is back too. Hi, Jay. Hey, Jay. Okay. okay, guys, we're done for today. Thank you for attending. Thank you. Thank you. And if you have it, Sid and Renu, abhi mujhe sun ke aisa lag raha hai. It's not all that easy jitna hum bol rahe hain. When your close one is in need of care, you are looking after them. That time it is very difficult to look after yourself or keeping yourself in the priority. I understand, but I think that uh, would result. Uh, that would uh, result in uh, just a second. Don't tell me you recorded the meditation also. Yes, you did. Oh, yes, we yes. did. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I think uh, that is. Uh, I I think that is. Uh, that is. Uh, that's not a natural condition. It is a. It is. It is a result of the expectations we place on ourselves. The expectation placed by society. Uh, uh, of of that particular context and then also the saintly glow we perceive around our own heads when we are doing these things and you know so i think there's a, there's a lot of uh, pressure from ourselves and on others because of the baseline of uh, you know the, the 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 glory associated with being a martyr uh, the 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 entitlement we 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 put on ill people without without the degree of uh, urgency we should give to our own self-care. So I think it's a combination of those things which puts that pressure. I completely agree with what you're saying, but I think it shouldn't be so. Because if we don't do it, then we will do it. And if we don't do it, then no one will my family has to look after me after that. So what's the point? Mm -hmm. Hey, Renu. Mom, and Arshna ji, another thing, the people who have done it, the reason why Sid and I decided to do this was to tell the people while who are at it still to learn from the experience. Because if you do if you don't do it by listening to the other people, you are going to collapse because it is yeah. something that you will not be able to sustain and like you know uh, carry on and in spirit and at the best of your capability. So mm -hmm. what is the point? Agar koi aapko bata raha hai who's done it and been there, to unki suno na. Nahi hota easy. Bilkul nahi hota because while I was talking and while Sid was talking about, you know, how to overcome it, all these options were given to me. Which I told you, no self-worth ki wajah se, image consciousness ki wajah se, you don't take those options. But actually now, now if I think about it, I would have survived much, much better and probably could have contributed in a better way also. Because mm -hmm. frustration is not there, your efforts and results are also more important. Mm -hmm. So anybody who is doing it actually should keep all these notions aside a little bit and think. Ki, and I always say, you can't pour from an empty vessel. You should have something in yourself, right? So... I guess uh, it, 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 it is a matter of sensibility how people take Very it. Very interesting. Oh. What, what Ashna said, the right response from both of us should be, yes, you're right. Instead, we started off talking for another 10 minutes ourselves. <laughs> Who is it? It's right. It's right, but we can always take the uh, example. We can always I mean, say somebody it. Else. Said, that, so, answer was, uh, yes, it's right. That time, I was in a different situation, but now I can understand. Because yeah. after that, um, I'd gone through so much that I think that it would be more good if we are mentally strong or strong at that time. So true. after effects, Lena, 
was much easier that time. Hmm. Right. So we can always take and the example. This the, thing, the you know, I, I, I think uh, now, just an example, I make sure that my Bhabi gets a break which mm. I didn't get at my, mm. this thing, not because nobody wanted to, but it was not possible at that time. And even though it is difficult, to, but I force her. And mm. she's very reluctant in taking help, but mm. I make sure, no, she takes it, she accepts it. So that, you know, you know, you, apart from doing your role, then you are trying to make somebody else, you know, feel a little better, make yeah. it a little easy for them. Cool. I will now stop the recording. Mm -hmm.